Hi. <laughs> Thanks for watching this video. As always, guys, I am going to only record and post videos that are about relevant to my life because that's the way that I think I can be most helpful. And I'm hoping that if it's relevant to me, that it's relevant and helpful to someone else. So thanks for watching. Today, guys, I just wanted to cover that it's okay to not work out, especially if you're unable to, don't have the means while you've got a new baby or while you're pregnant or for any other sort of major life event that you've got going on. New mommies, your physique is likely going to change. That's okay. You th I thought that once I get this baby out of me, I'll get back to working out and lifting. And I was like, yeah, I'll be back on, on, on it all. But the re reality of it is I've got hand injuries. I've got um, hip injuries just from repetitive mommy sort of movements, right? Carrying the baby around, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and so I'm not able to lift. I can't work out uh, because of, you know, the social anxieties out there. I don't really go out too much anyway right now. Uh, so I can't run, especially because of my hip injury. And you got to be okay with it because mommyhood, let's put it this way. Mommyhood is a sport, okay? And with any repetitive motion, you're going to get, likely going to get some injuries. Um, these are injuries I didn't expect to have. They just happen to happen. On a day-to-day -day basis, this is kind of what I look like. I've got this like sling thing that I carry the baby in. And then I've got like spandex pants or shorts because honestly, it's the most comfortable thing. And then I've got my pump and breastfeeding bra underneath this. My friend actually put me onto this bra. It's really nice because you can put um, your pump, slide it into the bra, or you can um, un unlatch it so that your baby can easily breastfeed. And so you don't have to constantly switch um, bras out. I'll put that down below if you guys want it. But the other thing that I I do want to talk about, guys, is, you know, even if you aren't able to work out, go to the gym, go for a run, go for a walk outside, as a mom, as a new dad, you're going to be up a lot of the days taking care of the baby, walking around the house. So utilize that. Walk around the house. At least stay standing, right? Your lack of sleep is going to get to you. Uh, so do what you can without making yourself go insane. That being said, to the new mommies, um, I do want to tell you about the pump that I've been using. I started first with a Medela install that I got off of Amazon. I got it because it had really great reviews. It's this guy. And you can see it's really just cute. The reason I switched out of it is because there's an adapter or um, a plug. So you have to be constantly stuck to the wall for the six, eight times that you're pumping in a day, which is like two plus hours more in a day. Um, and it's hard when the baby's crying and you all of a sudden got to unplug from the wall or you know something's going on and you have to unplug and you, things are falling around all over the place. But the other thing, the other reason I moved away from the Medela InStyle is because I had sensitivities and the pump was too strong for me. So it didn't have the, the number of settings that I needed to like ease into the pumping sessions. And also it's just, it's just not conducive to carrying around just because there's this little latch thing, but it's not really easy to hold or handle. And especially you can't move around since it's attached to the wall anyway. But the other thing is, so you'll have these parts of the pump, right? And these will be attached to you. I have these two different connectors. I'm um, just to show you guys these examples. But the reason I didn't like the Medela is because if you're multitasking or you're bending over or the baby's crying and you have to carry him or her, um, one of the things that can happen is this can this part, the flange, can stay in your bra, but then the rest of it can fall out. The baby kicks and it's gone, right? So your milk can come out. Um, or if you didn't tighten the bottle enough, that can fall out that way. Um, and even the tube can come out. And because of the way that this Medela is set up, milk can come out this way. So there's just a lot of potential ways that you can lose milk, which if you know... Um, if you know what it's like to pump, I now understand the meaning of don't cry over spilled milk. <laughs> I still do. <laughs> so, um, regardless of which connector you use, it's this one or this one, it's the same issue. You can have those multiple ways of spilling milk. So what I did is I did a little bit more investigation and I ended up getting the Spectra S1. By the way, Big tip, contact your insurance providers because insurance will cover your pump. Pumps are like 200 bucks, 170 bucks, something like that. I did pay a little bit of an upgrade, like 70, 80 bucks to get the S1, which is the blue one versus the S2, which is the pink one. 
the S, the, I got the S1 because the S1 is just a rechargeable pump so I can charge it and then carry it around with me. So when you can't go work out and you can't exercise, you can't run, get a, a, a pump that you don't have to be stuck to a wall to. That's my biggest tip for you mommies that are having to pump and feeling like you can't get a workout in. And at least you can carry it out around and walk, do lunges, um, and you're not stuck to the wall sitting down all the time because that's a lot of hours throughout the day. The other reason why I like the S1 is if you're a multitasker like me and I'm trying to not multitask as much as possible anymore, these pumps will be attached to you. And if you're multitasking, the only thing that can, or the things that can happen is the tube can come out or this top can come out, right? These pieces come out, but this is at least still attached to you because this, this doesn't disconnect like the medulla. The only other way that you can lose milk is if you didn't tighten this enough. But what I like about these Spectra bottles, guys, and if you get extra parts, tip, 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 do not go off brand. Please do not, at least for your pump materials. The Spectra bottle has a little bit of a lock, if you can hear it. It's not foolproof, but it's there and it's a nice peace of mind. Um, but the only other way that you can lose milk is if you didn't tighten this enough and it falls out. Um, so that's just kind of my, my advice is get a pump that allows you to be more mobile get a pump that minimizes the potentials for spilled milk i've got all other thoughts around these pumps so if you guys want me to make a video on that just let me know down below but my message is here guys please do not feel bad that you can't work out please do not feel bad that you can exercise do i feel bad sometimes that i can't work out yes of course i can say it easily that don't feel bad but mostly i don't feel bad because the sport that I'm playing of mommyhood is um, way different than bodybuilding and weightlifting. Um, once I get back into my rhythm, once I figure out my injuries, um, then I'll be able to go back to weightlifting and sort of progressively overload. That's my plan at least for now. My plan also after giving birth was just go hard at it. But honestly, I'm not even drinking caffeine. I, I don't get enough sleep. Um, the baby doesn't sleep throughout the night. She sleeps like in 10, 15 minute increments for me. I'm blessed if she sleeps an hour increment. So just know that when you're a new parent to a baby, um, you have to be open to setting, resetting your expectations frequently because you can set your expectations one day and it'll change half day in. <laughs> Be kind to yourself, guys. Love yourself because if you love yourself, you're going to love that baby even more. And uh, if you smile more, they'll smile more. <laughs> Do me a favor, guys. If you've got tips on how you're managing your day, um, put them down in the comments below. I'd love to see them. I hear the baby. She's waking up. I got to go. See ya.